This is really starting to piss me off. Something that Joe Biden keeps saying. I want to ask about the situation right now in the Middle East. You've forcefully spoken about the horrible events of October 7th and how Hamas is continuing threat to the safety of the people who live in Israel. You notice that the conflict, it's awful what's happening over there. The conflict. They dance around these words so much. It is a real song and dance to get around the word genocide, to get around the word massacre, to get around the word ethnic cleansing. You watch any of our mainstream media, and it's just like... Just dancing around the goddamn word genocide. You've been negotiating, trying to negotiate to release the hostages at the same time. Can you imagine what a Joe Biden negotiation looks like? It's just him putting, dripping down his face. You've said that the response in Gaza is too much and that the loss of an innocent life in Gaza is just as horrible as the loss of an innocent life in Israel. Could you imagine if that were actually true, if they actually behaved that way? The loss of a life in Gaza is the same as a, well, you got 37,000 in Gaza. You got 1,200 in Israel. Yeah, they're having calls for an immediate ceasefire. You have not supported those calls. Again, you seem like an optimistic person. You believe maybe there's a future for a two-state solution. But from where I'm sitting, it does seem like there doesn't seem to be any appetite for that right now. Again, not only does he dance around the word genocide and massacre and all those things, but he gives him about a million outs. He, he basically lectures him on the whole situation, says you're not standing up for a ceasefire. Now, he could have stopped the question there and been like, so you're not calling for a ceasefire. Why is that? What in God's name is stopping you from saying cease fire now. He could have asked that question, but instead he, he keeps moving. Just keep moving along until we get to the lightest possible version of this question. Because again, we see this horrible, every day we see these horrible images out of Gaza. Is there a path forward? Is <laughs> Isn't that a lovely way of euphemizing genocide or ethnic cleansing? Every day we see horrible images out of Gaza. You know, I often talk about how the media will use passive voice to avoid saying Israel killed such and such. Israel murdered Gazans. I often talk about how they will use instead use the passive voice. They will say 100 Gazans dead, 100 Gazans uh, found dead, 100 Gazans killed by blast. Oh, really? By the blast? Who, who, who shot the blast? This, what Seth Myers just did, is like even beyond that. It's like, let's just, we'll just say there are horrible images, not reality, but images coming out of Gaza. There's just we, we just, we, the images are bad. It's not the reality. It's like, we got to see it. There's a, there's a lot of images that have been floating. I mean, could you avoid saying Israel is murdering people any more than that? It's just, it's images. There is a path forward with difficulty, but here's the path forward. Look, first of all, there are, the hostages being held must be released. Does he mean the hostages being held by Hamas or does he mean the 15,000 Palestinian hostages held by Israel. Which one do you think he means? I, I, I wasn't sure which one he meant. The hostages being held must be released. And if we've got a, at least a principle agreement, there will be a ceasefire while that takes place. By playing him on 1.25, I'm making him sound more cogent than he is. I feel like I should play him on regular speed so you don't think, oh, he's coming around. Ah, he's starting to get his groove back. Coming up, and there's been an agreement by the Israelis that they would not engage in activities during Ramadan as well. In order Does anyone think that Israel is going to abide by that, not engage in activities for the entirety of Ramadan? I will bet you everything I've ever owned. I will go back and find the things that I used to own. I will bet all of that, that Israel still engages in activities during Ramadan. In order to give us time to get all the hostages out. That Does he mean uh, Palestinian hostages Israel's holding, you think? I'm not sure. Gives us time to begin to move in directions that a lot of Arab countries are prepared to move in. For example, Saudi Arabia is ready to recognize Israel. They've actually backed, Saudi Arabia has cut ties with Israel since this began, but they had said before October 7th, they had said they were moving towards recognize Israel, but now they've They've stopped discussions, at last I heard. I'm not, I think the only way Israel ultimately survives, and I make no bones about it. I get criticized for having said a long time ago, you need not be a Jew to be a Zionist. I'm a Zionist. That's a key point, which I've made many times. You need not be a Jew to be a Zionist. That's true. Not all Jews are Zionists. I'm not a Zionist. There are millions of, there are millions of us. There are millions of Jews around the world who are anti-Zionist. But on top of that, as he's mentioning, he's a Zionist. There, and he's a Christian. There are more Christian Zionists in the United States than there are Jews in the world, okay? So Zionism is actually more supported by Christians around the world than it is. The apartheid state in Israel is more supported by Christians around the world 
than it is by Jews, just by sheer numbers. Where there's no Israel, and there's not a Jew in the world to be safe. What the fuck is that? Telling me and all Jews that we're not safe in the United States of America? Thanks, Joe. Thanks, goddamn president. You crazy Jews out there aren't going to be safe unless there's Israel. The only way I'm safe in the United States is if there's a country, a, a religious country in the Middle East that is an apartheid state that commits ethnic cleansing. That's the only way I get to be saved here? What in the holy hell? How does that make any sense? That'd be like during the apartheid South Africa saying the only way a white person is safe around the world, anywhere in the world, is because there's South Africa. Because there's apartheid South Africa where they can always go and have apartheid. This is some of the dumbest shit, and it's wildly offensive. Could you imagine him looking to, to other groups of people in the United States and saying, listen, the only reason, the only way that Irish are safe in the United States is because Ireland exists. Really? It's not just that it's dumb, which is wildly dumb, but it is also incredibly offensive for him to keep running around telling every Jew that we're not safe in the United States. We're not safe in the country of our birth and our citizenship or Jews anywhere else in Canada, in the UK. Nope, not safe. You're not safe unless there's a brutal apartheid state going on in the Middle East. That's the only way you're safe. But here's the deal. They also have to make up, take advantage of an opportunity to have peace and security for Israelis and Palestinians who are being used as pawns by, 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 by Hamas. Oh, really? Are the Palestinians being used by, as pawns by Hamas while they're in an open-air prison? I think they're being used by, as pawns by Israel especially in an attack that the October 7th attack that Israel knew was going to happen, according to the New York Times and plenty of other sources, knew was going to happen for at least a year in advance. It sounds like Israel's using them as pawns. But you notice he's not saying the reverse. If you're going to say Palestinians are being used by Hamas, uh, are all Israelis being used by the Israeli administration? Because what what's the difference? You're going to accuse all people in that country of being used by the government that represents them. Yeah, I'd say Netanyahu and his far-right yahoos are using the Israeli people. Now, unfortunately, the Israeli people are so indoctrinated that the percentage of Israelis that support this genocide is truly horrific, horrifically high. Yeah, they're being used. They're being used by the propaganda. Most Americans, honestly, believe the U.S. empire should be destroying countries around the world. So it sounds like Americans are being used via... Uh, an impressive amount of propaganda, an impressive amount of brainwashing. Thank you for tuning in because uh, we try and undo that here on Dangerous Ideas. That's what we try and do. Undo all that brainwashing. Uh, even if you don't get the alerts, just show up because you might not get the, I'm very censored and suppressed. Just show up four days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific. And you can watch it anytime after that.